Hi everyone, today I would like to show you the symptoms where the Sony uh, ICF uh, series radio receiver suffer from the bad electrolyte capacitor. So what are the symptoms I wanted to show you in different models. Uh, basically they were using the SMD surface mount uh, devices, uh, those uh, small electrolytic capacitors and they went uh, mostly bad with the with the time and the age so the sony radios i icf series are uh, they have uh, this common uh, problem so i wanted to show you how it is uh, usually it's easy you know if uh, you are technically handy you can open up the radio take all the smd electrolytic capacitors and uh, replace with them with the new and the radio will be working absolutely fine so i would like to show you uh, uh, on this model this is a, a very good model sony icf sw55 world receiver so on this particular model they are bad in the audio uh, output stage so the audio is less uh, listen this is the full volume you can see and audio is very less radio is working but audio is very less this is on the am if we go FM, I can show you. Let me take the antenna out. Let me go. Ninety-four point seven zero and FM. Ninety-four point seven zero. See, see, there is, there is the audio. Very less, but you can see the signal strength. So this is a, a is a one of the symptom. Uh, radio suffering from SMD electrolyte capacitors when they are bad they dried out so solution is to replace them and the radio uh, will be serviceable for another 20 30 years working absolutely fine all other components are fine only the capacitors so this particular model has this symptom at the moment you can see how it's a less audio but uh, if uh, whenever you do it uh, yourself or by technician tell them to replace all electrolytic smd capacitors from the audio stage from the rectifier stage from the oscillator stage so the radio will be working fine if you just for this if you change in the audio stage you know then the radio will be working fine but uh, you never know after a few years uh, from the oscillator circuit they will get bad and you don't have a sensitive stations a weak station you cannot tune in so uh, change all of them i'll put a detail in the schematic diagram in the description also in the links you can see which one uh, which capacity uh, and the rating you can use them the best is to choose from the panasonic uh, electrolytic SMD capacitor they are the best they have a better tolerance and better life so use them if you use uh, do if you're handy you can do yourself or maybe buy with the, some radio technician so this is one of the symptoms which I show you in the AM we go 198 execute you see I hope you can hear it It's able to tune the station but audio is so weak okay this is one I show you the other model okay this is the other other radio uh, same model uh, this is with the serial number 62735 and uh, I can show you there are the batteries down but this radio even doesn't bother to turn on it's on pressing nothing so uh, the problem is the same uh, electrolytic capacitor here maybe they just leak on the circuit so even it's not turning on so but we can try this uh, 
with the with the external power source so we can see uh, where is the problem so we are going to use this power supply to feed with the power supply to see if it uh, responding and uh, it's important you can see here uh, the power supply so uh, what is important yeah if you see on the dc is require 6 voltage right and uh, the center point is plus the outer point is minus this you need to make sure and uh, if we go to the power supply now and it has a polarity setting so we set like the positive is in the in the center point and the negative outside and voltage is 6 it's always uh, better to use the original power supply like I have but I show you the other just in case if you don't have a original power supply don't uh, it doesn't matter you can use any power supply with the same voltage and the same polarity polarity is important plus goes to plus and minus goes to the minus otherwise will be a problem and the circuit can get damaged in the radio so we plug this one and we see how this radio do so here we are so we connect power source now you see radio is uh, turning on but it has a hum it has a humming noise this is the volume full so the capacitors are totally bad in the audio stage and uh, also in the oscillator and the power supply stage you, you can see here so we can try to you see this is this is another symptom this is an other system uh, sorry other symptom of bad electrolyte electrolyte capacitors okay uh, I show you some other models also stay tuned so here we have now uh, Sony ICF SW7600 this was the failed model failed model why because uh, initially it was a good radio but after 10 to 12 years it shows the signs of capacitors and that how it affect all of this there were other models like uh, ICF without SW7600D they never suffer still those radio their capacitors are good because on them Sony have used a Panasonic capacitors inside but this one in 10 12 years 15 years they were all bad now you see the symptom on this so it turns on and you can see very weak audio on the on the AM so we can try FM so it tunes the stations and detune it and here volume is full and the funny thing is the, the radio station we are hearing hearing is not this one it's something else 9470 is a classic NPO radio 4 this is something else so the oscillator circuit is also the capacitors in the oscillator circuit are really bad we go to AM try to do BBC see if you can hear only very less static noise nothing else we can do 1052 am further nothing so you you see these are all symptoms different models are suffering with this different symptoms and all of them are associated with the bad capacitors yeah so if uh, 
you have the same radio and it has the same problem if you change the electro, uh, electrolytic capacitors the SMDs and then it will work and backlight is working no not really backlight is also not working so yeah you only hear the hiss in some stations of course and AM is terribly bad nothing no static noise even one nine eight one eight yeah. So this is another example of the bad electrolytic capacitors in the Sony. I'll show you a few more models. Okay, this is another model, Sony ICF SW30. Uh, so this one has another symptom. And other symptom is that it cannot tune the stations. Look. Audio is enough. This radio has a enough audio but cannot tune the station and this one doesn't have a capacitor problem it has a crystal diode in the oscillator on the in the oscillator circuit and what happens sometimes when people connect the external antenna to these radios uh, here and a very strong local station so it it blew up the uh, crystal uh, uh, diode in the oscillator circuit so now the signal which is uh, coming uh, from the built-in ferrite antenna or the tele telescope antenna when they are going to the oscillator circuit the the crystal diode is broken so it doesn't convert that uh, signal uh, radio frequencies uh, into uh, oscill oscillating uh, signal so it can be uh, amplified in the if stage and then later on it goes to the to the AF preamp and the further so if you if you have a this kind of radio and you have a uh, problem that it's not tuning anything it has an audio all you need to do you need to take that small uh, crystal diode in the in the oscillator circuit so when you replace that and radio will be working fine but the capacitors are good in this case so this, this doesn't suffer from any electrolytic uh, smd capacitors this one suffers from the, the crystal diode in the oscillator stage that has uh, remained open you know with a local uh, strong local station or maybe yeah uh, it can be a thunderstorm radio was used and uh, then uh, that uh, high voltage go through in and it break that uh, uh, crystal diode in that circuit and uh, that's why it's unable to tune any station uh, because it's open if you, uh, audio stage is uh, and pre stage is perfectly fine so problem is an oscillator oscillator stage it, it might be also possible that uh, some of the SMD uh, SMD capacitors in the in the oscillator stay are also open but uh, mostly is the is the crystal diode over there it's very tiny little component uh, which get open and uh, radio is unable to receive any frequency at all so these uh, these were the these were the common uh, problems which uh, is related to the sony radios i would like to show you the one older model so sony started their journey into pll synthesizer digital uh, uh, pocket size uh, or portable word receiver from this model this is from 80s icf 7600d and in this model they use panasonic uh, electrolytic uh, smd 
uh, uh, capacitors and they are so good they never ever had any problem all those models this models even they are older than the other models I show you but they they, they work perfectly fine I show you I give you the demonstration here so See how strong BBC is coming on the AM long wave. We can go to FM also to 4.7. <laughs> so, uh, either if you wanted to buy a reliable, uh, then you go for this model. Uh, it's from 80s, but it's still it's still working fine. But uh, there are other models like like this one. This one is a ICF SW6700GR, and this is a dual conversion radio. This is the best you can get. And they don't have here in this model. In this model, this was G ICF7. Uh, uh, SW7600G so Sony has learned some uh, something uh, after this, uh, this this failure model which was uh, totally uh, sign very early the problem with the capacitors so they come up with this model uh, and they increase G and they use a Panasonic electrolytic capacitor so far uh, this radio did, doesn't have any problem with the electrolytic capacitor and this one also not and even this one is much better this one is uh, very sensitive and uh, selectivity is better it's dual conversion so it has a, a dual intermediate frequency interject into the oscillator circuit which uh, make it more sensitive and stable so uh, these are the the best models you can go but if you would like to go for like SW 55 or SW 77 they were good radio and with, with a lot of features like this but then you need to ask uh, the person to whom you are buying if the electrolytic capacitor has been changed or not if not then you buy it and uh, eventually they're gonna go bad so I advise uh, all of my subscribers that uh, if you are a radio listener and you want a portable radio by Sony, you know, uh, always go with these three models. You go for this one, it's very reliable and uh, this is the best at the moment. Now Sony doesn't produce, it's a shame. Since another company like Texan, they are producing basically so this GR model 7600GR uh, is the best dual converse, uh, conversion and even though this old one 7600D from 80s still it works fine you know for the normal listening and SSB it can do the job it has a good design also so all other models you have to check uh, your prospect buyer that uh, the capacitors are changed or not if not then pay, better avoid it because uh, they're gonna go bad pretty soon I hope uh, you like this video I would like to share uh, with you to my subscribers that uh, they have to find out the problems associated with the uh, bad electrolytic capacitor and the Sony world receivers thank you very much for watching and uh, uh, till next time bye bye